Being a real estate agent can be really hard sometimes and you might want to quit because of the day-to-day, -day, you're sick of it, or you might lose your love for the game. Before you think about actually quitting real estate though, watch this video. You see, there are three main reasons why people might want to quit being a real estate agent, and you probably fall into these three reasons. The first one is wrong expectations. You got into real estate thinking that it was easy money and everything would fall into place. You would get clients, you know, just calling you up as soon as you got your license in real estate and that you would keep getting that rate of clients calling you every day for years and years to come. Now, you might be a new real estate agent and you might be in the game for a few months now, a few weeks, or you might be experienced as a real estate agent and you might think that you're not in the right business because you have the wrong expectations. If you have experience, you have high clients before to be able to have experience as a real estate agent, otherwise you'd be out of business. Now, your expectations might be that when you try something new to get clients, for example, or to sell a property, you might not see immediate results. So it might be discouraging. And on the flip side, if you came into real estate not so long ago, you might have thought that, hey, I'll just hustle my way through a month of hard work, seven days a week, just grinding my butt off and I'll make a lot of money, get tens of thousands of commissions in my first month and we'll roll. But that's not how it works. There's a delay of getting the results. In business and in life, there's always going to be a delay to see the results of your actions, especially when building your real estate business. Now, I want you to ask yourself a few questions. If you had the wrong expectations going into real estate or sustaining your career as a real estate agent, the first is, are you full time? Are you working hard enough? Let's be honest. How many hours per week are you actually working on your real estate business and on improving it, not just meeting with clients and doing the same thing that you've been doing since the start. What are you doing differently? If you're not actually full-time in real estate, then you know you have the reason why that's not working out. You're not fully dedicated to one business. When you have all your eggs in one basket, you don't have any choice to succeed. And that's why I only have one business as well. I see so many people with like two, three, four, five different businesses, but they don't even succeed. Like none of them are actually successful because their attention and their time, and their energy is just spread out through these five businesses. So I'm just focused on one thing only and that's how I do it right. And that's what you need to do as well. Now, if you're already doing this, then great. Ask yourself this question. Are you working smart enough? what are the top performing agents in your marketplace doing that you're not? Because once you have the work ethic in and you're actually grinding and hustling, then you need to ask yourself, yeah, it's good to be a hustler and you know have a good work ethic, but if you're just spending your time doing cold calling, you'll soon realize that, hey, maybe that's not the best way to actually get clients. Now, think about this. How could you work smarter? If you're currently working with buyers, then you should probably think of try to focus on sellers because with sellers, it's more of a guarantee that you'll actually end up doing a transaction and getting a commission and not wasting your time like you sometimes do with buyers. And by getting a listing, you'll also get the buyers as well. So that's one quick way you can actually start working smarter. Start focusing on getting listings instead of buyers. Now that you know that you have to focus on getting listings, think about how you can get them. Like I said, Instead of just banging out cold calls day in, day out, think about how you can make them come to you instead of you having to chase them. The second reason why most real estate agents think of quitting real estate is because they lack money. Look, I get it. When you start real estate, it costs a lot of money. You have to pay for your license. You have to pay for your course. You have to pay for your sign. You have to pay for the business cards. Some of them go wrap their cars. They do their professional pictures. You have to pay for your brokerage, your agency every single month. It's a recurring fee. And it's a pain, let's be honest. Nobody wants to pay these recurring fees every single time, especially when you don't get an ROI. Let's go to the root cause of this problem. If you're thinking about quitting real estate because you don't have enough money or you lack money or you're losing money, it's because you lack money because you don't have any transactions or you don't have enough transactions. And you don't have enough transactions because you don't have enough clients. You lack clients because you don't have any appointments or enough appointments. And you lack appointments because you don't have enough leads. And why is it that you don't have enough leads? It's because you don't know how to do lead generation. Now, you see, here's the thing. If you learn how to generate leads, everything else just solves and everything else just unlocks after that. And you can focus on the other 
things in the sales funnel. And you don't need to be spending a lot of money to actually learn this. You can watch videos like this one to actually learn how to do lead generation. You don't need a lot of money to do lead generation. You can do free lead generation in multiple ways, multiple strategies nowadays. And you can just watch and learn for free as well, like watching this video right now, or just going to someone that actually mastered the craft already to skip the trials and error. Now, the third reason why most real estate agents think of quitting real estate is because they are sick of the day to day. They're sick of always being on their phone, sick of having clients calling them at midnight, asking for the same thing over and over again, and sick of having to drive all around with buyers and everything. Or they hate cold calling. They just hate it. They can't stand doing cold calling again. They, they're just sick of it. If they do another one, they'll just puke. Now, here's the thing. Maybe real estate is not for you, but I want you to think about the reason why you got in it in the first place. Why is it that you wanted to become a real estate agent? Was it for the financial freedom? time freedom, the fact that you wanted to be self-employed or a business owner and not having anybody else tell you what to do? Or is it because you love real estate or talking to people? Think about this for a second. And now think about the things that you don't like in your day to day and isolate those because we can change that issue because there's a great chance that we can actually change these issues and work in a better way that will actually suit you and your lifestyle. It's not because everybody else is doing it the same way that you need to follow what they're doing. There's always going to be somebody else that will be first in doing something before the others actually follow. For example, if you hate having your phone turned on all the time, receiving calls, receiving texts, being like, go, 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 responding to everyone as soon as possible, then why not just have an assistant or a virtual assistant help you out with this and take care of this for you so that you can focus on what you actually like in the side of the business. If you like meeting clients, closing deals and stuff like that, then you can start focusing your time and energy on doing this instead of answering phone calls because somebody else will be taking care of this for you. Or you could just set clear expectations with your client that, hey, between this time and this time, I'm just not available. If you call me, I won't answer. And that's because I need to rest. I need to have a life because if I don't, then I'll just burn out and I won't be able to serve you best. And most people will understand and respect this. Now, if you hate driving around with buyers doing visits and you feel like you're wasting time, you're wasting money on gas and everything, then it just comes around with the other problem I told you to fix, which was focus on getting listings because with that, you don't have that issue. If you hate doing cold calling, then just find another way to actually get sellers besides doing cold calling, whether that be through your SOI, through online lead gen, through doing content like this, find something that actually suits you and that you enjoy doing because you're gonna be doing a lot of it for a long time if you wanna become successful in it. So guys, as a final note, I just want you to actually think about should you really quit real estate? Because let me tell you one thing, when you stick with something for long enough, eventually you actually master your craft, you become good at it and it becomes more fun. And the hardest part is when you don't know how to fix the problems you have. If you have a solutions for the things that you hate in real estate, then everything else just disappears and you start making more money because you're more passionate about the way you do things in real estate and you enjoy it more. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.